Therefore, even in the beginning state of Sodom, all types of sin, like Parabdha Karma, Aparabdha Karma, Kut, Birj, Abhidya, are all destroyed completely. Then Subhadra, all, tra all transcendental qualities, all good qualities, enter in the heart of the devotee. Shishnana Chaturi describes Krishna himself empowers the heart of the devotee with all his own qualities, the little partial, in, in a partial sense. Therefore, in the heart of the devotee comes detachment from the objects of the senses which are the cause of distress. And secondly, he causes an arising of a greed to taste that which is related to Krishna, like his name, form, qualities, and pastimes. At that time, even the happiness of Bhukti will be considered insignificant by the devotee. Once the smell of Krishna's feet enters the nose of the devotee, then even Brahmasu, in personal liberation, becomes tucha, insignificant. Only one desire remains, how I can give happiness to Krishna. There is no center of any other desire. Then in that clean heart, Krishna manifests his full sweetness there. Therefore, some of the qualities that are given here, the Buddha said it's not, it's not possible to describe all the qualities. It's not possible to describe all the qualities, but simply we are indicating the direction of these qualities. Then we should examine our own heart and see if these qualities have come or not. Sarala, simplicity, dhyaja, patience, Gambirta, graveness, Socha, cleanliness, Satyam, truthfulness, Shamata, forgiveness, Shanti, peacefulness. All these qualities enter the heart. At that time, the devotee feels an unprecedented peace in his heart. Shama. If someone makes an offense and that person begs a forgiveness, immediately that person, the Vaishnava will forgive that person. There is no touch of unhappiness in the heart of a devotee at this stage, because the Atma is sympathetic. If Krishna is pleased, automatically the Atma will be pleased. Devil Sri Krishna Chakravarti Thakura is taken from the Bhagavatam. Yas yas te bhakti bhagavati kichana sarva guru samasta shuro. Aharo avakyasya kuto mahaguna manorata asiti te bhavata bhagir. Krishna empowers his own qualities in the heart of the devotee who performs his bhakti. But the qualities of the non-devotee are because the non-devotee simply rides on the chariot of the mind, those so-called good qualities are useless. Therefore, for example, the devotee has so many unlimited qualities. He is Kripalu, positively merciful. And also Darshan, he never sees the faults in others. He is like Yudhisthira Maharaj. Yudhisthira Maharaj, despite no ma how much trouble Suryodhana would try to cause him, Yudhisthira Maharaj would always call him Suryodhana with great affection. The devotee is Paramsatya, always truthful, neither knows, without fault, Mridu, very soft and affectionate. Suchi, clean, clean. Even if they pass through and don't take part because they chant the name of the Supreme Lord, they remain pure. Upaka, they always endeavor for the benefit of others. Shant, always peaceful because they have no desire for wealth. Wealth, therefore their mind is not restless at all. Akama, they have no lust. They have conquered the six enemies of lust, greed, anger, enviousness, madness, and illusion. Except for bhakti, except the desire to serve Krishna, they have no other desire. Therefore, they, they are akama. Anima means they are always steady. Samadarshan, they always see equally to all. Aha, they do not eat too much. Karuna, merciful. Daksha, expert. Kavi, Kavi. Poetic. 
Therefore we should take our hearts, pulse, and see how many of these qualities have entered us practically known. Therefore, the devotee never tries separately for these good qualities, but by bhakti they come automatically. Thank you. 